Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are going to see about how to create a new project in CX supervisor. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. So let's open a CX programmer. So this is the landing page once you have opened the PLC software of Omron. So after that, you have to go to the file and create new. And there is a shortcut for this that, that will be a control plus N. So just click on that. So it will take you to the PLC option to choose the name, right? So you can give the name of the device name, name of the device. So let it be as new, this is the default name they have given. So let it be like that. And there is an option called device type. So this is the type of Omron PLC. So you can see there are multiple types over here. So everything, all these are comes under the Omron. So for our project, we are going to use the CP1E and we have multiple types, M, H, M, E. There are so many types over here. So I'm going to use this CP1E type. So I'll give them some uh, gist of information about this. So if you see the E type, E type is the basic model of CPU unit that supports basic control applications using instructions such as basic movement, arithmetic and comparison instruction. So E type is the basic type of Omron and we have N type, N type is the application model. So which supports some terminal connections, some inverters, servo drives. So these are all some application type of, uh, you know, uh, devices and uh, which you can connect to the N type of Omron. So you cannot connect inverters and servos in this E type. And we have uh, NA type, this is also a application model. We have advanced application model. So the, like this, I'm just giving an example, like this you have multiple types of PLC. As you have seen here, there are some H, L. So you can get all these information in the user manual. So once you have selected the device type, go to the settings and this is a CPU type. See in this CPU type, depends upon your selection, it will show here. So what is this E10, E14, E20 like that means this is the number of count of IOs. So how many IOs you are going to use in your project? According to that, you have to use this numbers. So I'm just using E20 and uh, just go for OK and network type. So let it be as USB. So just go for OK. So our new project is creating. So it's created. It's created now. So here you can see the name, device name of your PLC. Since I have not given any name, it is taking the default one, right? And uh, here we have a programming area. So here only we will be writing the program and that will come under section. So if it is, if the tree is like this, you have to expand it. You have to expand the tree and there you can find the section area. Here only we are going to write the program, right? So how to write a program and how to take all the instructions and all we will be seeing in the next session. So before winding up the session, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.